In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to clean out your laptop. Uh, basically, the benefit of cleaning out a PC, like in terms of dust, not like the recycle bin inside, whatever, is that over years of usage, dust accumulation and dirt will build up, and that can uh, build up within the keyboard itself, inside the little holes, or within the fan. And the fan is usually located at the back, and um, in my tutorial video on how to clean out a PC, I actually removed the panel of the PC and I show you how to clean the inside. Technically, you could open up the laptop, usually from the bottom, but the amount of screws and parts that are attached, you could permanently damage your laptop. It's just far too complex and complicated. I'm not going to even bother showing you how to do that. I'm just going to show you the quick clean method because laptops don't get as dirty as PCs. So to open it, it's just no point at all. Um, do not use a vacuum to clean out the laptop um, for a number of reasons. There won't be enough suction power in your vacuum to clean up all little bits and stuff. And furthermore, if you have a vacuum that has a um, metal end at the end of it, it could cause a static shock to the laptop itself. And when you're cleaning the laptop, make sure that it's not connected to the power outlet with your cord and that the laptop is off. If the battery is still inside, that's fine, it's completely safe, it won't damage anything, so don't worry about that. And in order to clean it, you just simply need air in a can. It's just basically pressurized air within a can. If you spray yourself, it's completely safe, it's just pressurized air. Um, the instructions on how to use it are usually located at the back or somewhere. Um, the only rules that you really need to know about using air in a can is do not shake it before usage. Um, use quick short bursts like one two seconds just like this and you'll notice that it starts to get really cold over usage and the cold it starts to build up from the bottom and gradually go up and it could even reach so cold that you'll notice that some steam builds up here it's not dangerous but what you need to do is just basically put it to the side and let it warm up and when it's warmed down, uh, sorry, up a little bit just come back and use it again so, oh, and furthermore, you should try to use it at a 40 degree angle or so, or 45 degrees. So for the purpose of cleaning the keyboard, don't tilt it down like this. What you should do is actually just put your laptop to the side like that. And just keep, you know, a fair distance, I would say about half a foot. And just use short bursts like this. And you won't really see any dust flying out because, as I said, Laptops don't really get as dirty as PCs do. And then you just go into the back, find your fan port, mine is right here, and you just... So I can see a little bit of dust actually flying out right now. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. That's it. There's nothing else really to clean. Um, it's as simple as that. And as I said, there wasn't that much dust flying out, so you might think that there's no purpose to cleaning out a laptop, but it's good maintenance and a good habit to keep. So if you found that video useful, subscribe to my channel, check out my website for more tech news, tech tips, and thanks for watching.